So in this lecture, we'll be creating a client server based application in which there will be an admin portal and uh, you know this browser which you are seeing over here on this I will be accessing the admin portal and on these two I will be accessing the user panels so I will be creating the profiles of two different users on these two browsers and on this one I am going to access the admin panel now how is it how is it going to look like that's what we are going to see so for accessing the admin panel the what the admin has to do he has to click the sign in button which is present right at the bottom of the screen and automatically he is going to get redirected on a screen like this okay and now what we are going to do we are going to create a profile on this platform with this email address so I am using this password and this as an email ID now I'm going to use the same email address for logging into the app. So this is how the you know user's profile is going to look like. Similarly, I am going to sign up with uh, you know another ID on this browser. So this is the one which I am using for creating one more profile on this platform. at the rate gmail uh, dot com so this is the one which I have with which I created one more profile now let's log in into the app and see what's gonna happen so this is going to be the first user and this is going to be the second user now how this app is going to work suppose this user want to find out a fact of a particular number okay related to a particular number how can he do that how can he find out the fun fact related to a number so what he has to do he has to enter the number here uh, let's see 56 and this is a button which he can make use of for sending uh, his number to the admin pa admin panel let's hit this button and now how this admin is going to receive the number which this user has sent to him he just have to click on this button over here for receiving the number so this is the number fine now what he has to do in order to find in order to uh, find out the fun fact related to this number the admin has to click on this uh, you know image over here and automatically he will get to see this fun fact reflected over here so this is an automatically generated fun fact which is getting reflected over here now if suppose he want to send it to this user what he has to do he can click on this button over here and now in order to receive this fun fact from this uh, admin what this user has to do he has to just click on this button over here sorry this button over here get the fic and this is how he's going to receive the fun fact related to this number 56 so 56 is a number of men who signed the United States Declaration of Independence in 1776 so it's a you know automatically generated fact that is getting reflected over here we'll talk about it in the later part of this video that how this fact has got generated and from which server am i using for uh, getting this fact over here now let's uh, work on this second users panel let's input a number over here let's say 67 so this user is also done with sending the number to the admin now how the admin is going to receive the number he just have to click uh, this button so this is how he's going to get the number now in order to uh, you know get the fun fact related to this number he just have to click this uh, I, uh, image over here so now it is 67 is the number of countries in Florida okay so in order to send it to this user he just have to click this button and now let's see whether this user has received the fun fact related to this number or not 
So we need to click this button over here. Yes, the user has successfully received this fun fact related to this number. Okay, now let's try this uh, on one more browser. So for doing that, we can open this app on one more browser like this using the same link. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one more profile on this platform in order to check whether that person can get the fun fact from this admin or not. It's just, it's, it's just that we are checking whether, uh, you know, uh, two more than two persons can use this app simultaneously at the same time or not. That's what I am checking right now. Now create one more profile on this platform with uh, some other name. Let's say Anubhav at the rate gmail.com. And here I'm going to enter this password. Let's now hit this create account button. So an, uh, uh, an account with name Anubhav at the rate gmail.com has got successfully created. Now let's log in into the same with this ID. Anubha123 is the password. Let's now submit. Hit the submit button. So we have got redirected on this screen. Let's now enter a number over here. Okay, now let's uh, send the number to this uh, admin panel and see what's gonna happen. Okay. Let's now check whether this uh, admin has received this number or not. So click on this button. And as you can see, he has successfully received this number over here now let's find out the fact related to this number so we need to click on this image and as you can see uh, this fact is getting reflected over here now let's send this fact to this user through this button okay now let's see whether this user will be able to receive the fact related to this number or not so for doing that we need to click the hit this button and see the fact related to the, this number is getting reflected over here. 90 is the latitude of the North Pole and the South Pole. So you know, that's how this app works. Now let's check out the code which I have made use of for, for making this beautiful app. So this is the code that I have made use of for making this beautiful app. Now this is the first screen, sorry, th not this one. This is the first screen user is going to come across. Now what I have done over here, let me just increase the font size so that everything can be more visible to you guys and everything can be more clear to you also. So this is an error message which is getting reflected over here. Initially the user will not be able to see it just because I have defined a hide element block for this error message. So it will not be visible to the user when he will access the app on his device for the first time. Uh, now when he will open the device, when he will open the app on his device. So you'll not be able to see this message just because of this hide element block I have defined over here for this label. Now when the user will hit this create account button, what's going to happen? So a table with name users is going to get created and the email address which the user is going to put here in this component and the password which he's going to put here automatically they are going to get saved in these two different fields with name email and password. Let me just show you the table which has got created on the date, which will get created on the data browser when the user will hit this create account button present on the sign up screen. So this is the one. Now here as you can see there are two different columns, one with name email and the second one with name password. Okay and all the information which the user is going to enter here is going to get saved in this table. Now let's go back on the coding part and check out the rest of the code. So once the user is, is done with creating his profile uh, using a specific email address and a password, he's going to get redirected on the sign-in screen. This is the one. He'll come on. Now the password and the email address which he made use of for creating his profile, he can, uh, using the same, he can sign into the, into the app. So this is the code which is going to get executed when the user will hit the submit button. So the records are going to get pulled up from this user's table. Okay, this is the one which will get created in which all the information of the user is going to get saved. So from this user's table, the records are going to get pulled up and if the email address matches with the one which he's going to mention here. So against that, whatever password is there in the table, 
it is going to get pulled up and that password will match using this if loop which we have defined over here i think we already have talked about this code a lot of time in the previous lectures i just i would just like to uh, you know you guys to just check out the code that i have made use of here it is the same code that we made use of in the previous lecture previous couple of uh, lectures i hope you uh, are getting this thing which is written over here inside the if loop so this is a validation which i have placed over these two components so if this condition these two conditions true then the user is going to get redirected on this screen 6 which is the users panel okay now what is going to happen when the user will click on this sign in button which is getting reflected on this sign up screen over here so there is a small text over here with name sign in as you can see fine so when the user will click on this text so this is a code which is going to get executed the use the admin sorry the admin will get redirected on this screen 4 so this is for the admin how he can access the admin pro, admin portal just by clicking on that sign in text okay on a single click he is going to get redirected on this admin panel and he can make use of it for uh, you know generating the fun facts now after this let me let's go back on that uh, what we say users panel this is a users panel now here there is a button with name image 8 as you can see so when the user will hit this button automatically whatever number he will enter here in the text box it is going to get saved in a kind of table okay a table with name number is going to get created on the data browser in which this number is going to get saved fine and as soon as he'll click this button the text of this component and of this one is going to get changed this te the text of this one is going to get changed to null and this one is going to get changed to here is the fun fact fine now let's go back on that screen uh, i think it is a screen 4 which is yeah screen 4 it is uh, which is your admin's portal now there is a button over here with name image 12 what's going to happen when the admin will hit this button when the admin will hit this button the records are going to get fetched up from this number table which has got created here okay so the records will be pulled up from this number table and uh, you know this label box which i have defined inside this circular object the text of this label box will get changed and the number which the user has entered uh, it is going to get reflected here in place of this no dot fine so this is a code i have made use of for the for doing the same now in order to get the fact the user is the admin is required to click this button to generate the fun fact related to the number which will get reflected over here so what is the code which will get executed when the uh, admin will hit this button over here this image over here so there is a there are two variables which i have made use of var a is equal to get number label 7 so whatever number is going to uh, get reflected here it is going to get saved in this variable a with the help of this code and this url url stands for uniform resource locator okay so there is a website with which uh, you know you can access the fun facts related to any number so this is a trick i have made use of with this if i will add this number automatically this is going to tell me this is going to generate for me the fun fact related to this number a okay now uh, we can make use of this start web request uh, block for accessing this url this web address and if this status is equal to equal to 100 we generally use it just for checking whether we are able to access the data from the server of this website or not So if this is equal to equal to 200 then we would like the fun fact to get reflected over here related to this number otherwise we will not be receiving the fun fact from the server of this website fine if this status is not equal to equal to 100 now finally when the user will hit this button uh, the text of these two things are go also going to get changed the text of this thing will go is going to get changed to no dot and the fun fact will become null 
this is what I have defined over here now there is a button which is I think I need to define this thing in place of defining it defining it inside the on even block of this image of this image button I need to define it inside this one yeah this is fine so what is going to happen Autom uh, when the user will hit this button over here the fun fact which will get reflected over here it is going to get saved in this uh, table fact which will get created automatically when the user will hit this image 11 button side by side this uh, you know the the texts of this label box and of this text box is also going to get changed now in order to receive the fun fact on uh, this panel the you what the user has to do the user has to hit this button when the user will hit this button automatically the records are going to get pulled up from this table fact where the fact is actually getting saved uh, and it is going to get reflected in this text area through this set text code okay so this is how you can make such an interactive app hope you enjoyed this lecture a lot please do like and subscribe to my channel and also do share this video with the one who would like to uh, enjoy free coding classes on my channel thank you very much and god bless you all with a great future have a great day bye bye